All right, what's up, family? All right, so here's what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about is um, setting destinations of where to ride to. There are some days that, you know, you want to get out there, you want to go to places that you want to ride. But honestly, you're like, where am I going to go? Where am I going to ride to? I have no idea where I want to ride to. So today I got up, you know, shot a couple of videos, spoke a little bit about why I started riding a motorcycle. And that led to me riding for like two hours, two and a half hours, ended up coming to the studio and then editing the videos so you can see the videos. Now I'm riding home and I'm just gonna ride random locations again. Sometimes you don't need to have a lot of places. And I'm yes, I got my module open right now and I got my wire hanging. Don't pay no attention to that. All right, pay attention to what I'm saying, what I'm telling you. Sometimes you don't need to have specific destinations to get on your bike and ride and not all the time sometimes you can just get on your bike get out there and just ride your bike ride right because you will be surprised of how much fun you can have when you are riding your bike when you are just being able to tune out being able to enjoy that moment be able to listen to those gears, feel the throttle, feel the wind smacking you, your skin. You'll be surprised at how all of that will make you feel. Okay, so right now I don't even know if the wind is going to make a lot of noise with the helmet open. But we'll find out. We will find out. So I'm riding through Covington. I'm going to cut through the town. I'm going to take a few shortcuts home. And I'm riding normal I'm not riding speed and that way those cars in front of me I can see them in case I need to move over if this van decided this truck decided want to shoot out I have enough time to control my whole entire situation but when I'm riding sometimes I ride with no destination intended sometimes I ride with no um, no meaning behind it and those becomes my best rides so if you're struggling with uh, riding, if you're struggling with places to ride and you don't have buddies to ride with, I'm gonna tell you to just get on your bike, start it up and just go. Go to someplace different. Do not go to places that you know. If you're normally leaving your house and turning right, then leave your house and turn left. When you leave the house and you turn left, Go straight instead of making any other turns that you would normally make. Explore your neighborhood, explore your community, explore the different things that you can see. You know what's funny? I'm at a light and people see me running my mouth. I know they're probably saying, yo, this dude is, well, who the hell is he talking to? Because not everybody understands that on motorcycles, you could actually be on the phone talking to somebody or you could be vlogging. So it looked like a psycho just talking to himself, you know? I like it. Now, look, I'm coming through here, just riding, looking at all the little scenic stuff. And the scenic stuff for me is anything that's new, right? So even though I know there's a tire shop right there, look, I look to my left over here and I might see something different. And, and, and I'm riding at 30 miles an hour. I'm not speeding once again. So don't be, don't be so caught up in having to choose a destination to be able to put some miles in. Miles could be five miles, it could be 20 miles, it could be 30 miles. Just ride your bike, ride your bike. Now, what do I get from riding? Let me tell you what I get from riding. I get a lot of clarity when I'm riding my bike, a lot of clarity. I don't have time to think about too many things, okay? So my clarity comes from being able to remove the things going on in my life, away from my life and away from my freaking mind and focus on the road. So right now we're coming into the town of Covington, the square. And um, there's a lot of beautiful things out here and I'm gonna ride around as I talk to y'all. But we get to focus on the road and I get to just breathe a bit. I get to meet people, I get to connect with people, I get to really be a part of the community. You know, when I find other people who ride, if I go to the gas station or even if I'm riding through the square here where a lot of tourists come, you know, by the way, Covington Square is considered the Hollywood of Georgia because a lot of movies were filmed in this area. Lots and lots of movies. A lot of stores. It's a lot of cool stuff. You see bikes and everything come out here. I get a chance to see the people. 
you don't get a chance to just enjoy the view. All right, oh, oh, right here, there's a spot, a pizza shop right here. It's called um, Your Pie. Their pizza is amazing. There's a place here called Scoops, right there. Their ice cream is amazing. It's an ice cream spot, so when you wanna go get a little ice cream, you wanna get your milkshake or your little sundae or your little desserts, whatever you want, it's a good spot to get, all right? Then right here, they got an olive oil spot, Town Square Olive Oil. It's a really nice location. It's a lot of beautiful things that's within this, this, these towns. Like I said, I'm gonna make some turns and um, just ride and talk. Now look, see, you see what I'm saying? I don't have a destination, but am I having fun? Yes, yes. Am I able to clear my thoughts? Am I able to clear my mind? Yes, I am. Absolutely am. There's so many things out here. I mean, look at the artwork right here. Look at the artwork right here. Okay, a bunch of fruits, huh? And look who's blowing the fruits. Come on, baby. It's all those little details I like. The little small details. The people, the people that comes out here, the people who come in these areas. I love watching them. I like to see they have these little tourist bus that they will rent and you see the tourist guides showing people of all these buildings and where all these major movies were filmed. Like for example, the Dukes of Hazards. A lot of people don't know the Dukes of Hazards was filmed in this area, right here. Dukes of Hazards. And uh, they have these little go-karts that, that people would rent, these little go-karts. As a matter of fact, I just saw one. Maybe I can catch up to them and pull up behind them. So you can see, they go one right there. So yeah, so people would rent all these things, right? And just go on these little tour guides and uh and just enjoy it and look this is i'm not i'm not hours away from home i'm literally like 15 minutes from my house i'm so close to my house look at this building look at how beautiful this building is when you look at buildings like this you know that these buildings has some serious culture behind it right some serious history and that's what i'm talking about is, is just being able to understand the, the environment get to know your area you don't need to uh to overdo anything man you don't got to spend no bunch of money just get on your bike and ride. Look at these people, see? They're on their little go-kart. They're riding, they're having a good time. They're having a good time and um, the kid is in the front and guess what? It's okay, you can do it. You got families over here sitting down. You got, man, come on, man. Where I live at, I live in paradise. I don't know about you, but I live in paradise. I don't need to live in Hawaii or back in Jamaica by the beach. Paradise is anywhere you can find some beauty. That is where paradise is at. All right, so get on your bike, get out there and ride, get on there and just enjoy your day. You have your motorcycle. I'm encouraging you guys to ride. I'm encouraging you guys to stay healthy. I'm encouraging you guys to get fit, to be much more fitter than you are right now. I'm encouraging you to stay on top of your game, right? Don't start to lose your game. Don't start to lose your health. Don't start to lose your wealth. Stay in motion with your body. Stay in motion with your mind. Now look, I never turned down here before. I don't even know where the hell I just turned to. You see what I'm saying? That's what I mean when I say I'm just going random. I'm in somebody's community. Where's this taking me to? I don't know, but let's find out. Wow, nice. Nice to the houses back here too. Feels like I'm, now I feel like I'm miles away, but I'm still not miles away. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all to find things that you've never done before. All right, so leave it in the comments. Let me know if what I'm saying is encouraging you to get up off your butt, to get your bike cleaned up. Heck, don't even clean the bike. Just get on the bike and ride. Just get on your bike and ride. There's no if, buts, or maybes about that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so leave it in the comments, subscribe to the channel. Let me know that you're there. Let me know that I'm not wasting my time making these videos and I'm talking to myself because I don't like talking to myself <laughs> period <laughs> no talking to myself baby all right so I'm out of here uh, quick video like I said just want to touch base with y'all get you encouraged to get out there ride your motorcycle get on your iron horse and get to work all right because life is short and life is fun let's make it better let's make it more fun let's make it even longer don't make it shorter I'm out Peace.